So what's kind of interesting is that the charts played out exactly how we thought yesterday. We, in fact, got some negative job numbers in the ADP report, insanely hot report, way more jobs than expected. OK, in the private sector, this was obviously a big deal. The market didn't like it. And in fact, we went through this pullback. If you guys remember, I charted this out yesterday and ADA followed exactly where we thought it would go. It would test this bottom support line. And it's, it's essentially just sitting just above there now. But now I'm actually shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked at the jobs numbers that we received this morning. We, in fact, came in below expectations, 209,000 jobs in June, which was below the expected 225 jobs. If you guys remember, this is a pullback from 339,000 in May. Unemployment fell from 3.7 to 3.6%. This was a huge surprise, absolute shock. So the question is, where do we go from here? <laughs> I, I don't think anybody knows. Obviously, we're seeing a little bit of a pump here. Honestly, I would expect to see a little bit of a rebound here. You know, we might we might come back to the upside here, or we might even hang a little bit lower and kind of follow this, this trend line. I'd be very surprised if we broke below here. As always, this is not financial advice, but I do think that somewhere in, you know, we're going to sit somewhere around 29 to 30 cents for this CPI report. Now, this is happening about a week from now. And the reason I say that this is the case is if we do follow this trend line and come up to around this level, there's a possibility we could see a, a strong move to the upside here, or we could in fact form that right shoulder and start to work our way down to this 26 and a half cent level. As you guys know, I, I'm really bullish when it comes to ADA, especially long term. I I'm a realist though. Okay, I know what we see in the charts, and I think it's important that we talk about this so you guys have realistic expectations. And <clears throat> what this really signifies is a little more unknown for the future. What you have to remember is the Fed's goal is to try to essentially put this squeeze on the economy. All right, they want to slow down job growth, they want to slow down wages, and they want to see inflation go flat. That's why they've been doing what they've been doing. And now with this jobs report coming in below, we're very heavily dependent on this CPI report. Okay, the CPI report is going to essentially make or break us this month because if inflation is in fact hot, it's going to almost guarantee that they do another rate hike at the end of this month. If it comes in soft, if we are actually moving down as far as costs go, if we are flat, you know, anything in that regard, it's possible that they may not raise rates this month, which would be two straight periods of the Fed not raising rates. That's a big deal for the markets. You'd probably see the markets continue to run. In fact, ADA could continue to start to or continue to make this recovery in terms of price, a lot of what we saw as far as the pullback goes with the SEC and stuff like that. So we could even then move up and try to test 32 cents, but that's a story for a different day. So obviously let's get through this, you know, these numbers today. Let's obviously see how the market reacts, but I I'm very shocked. It was very cool to see it play out how I thought. I honestly thought that these job numbers were going to be, you know, insanely high. So I'm very surprised. I'm sure you guys are as well, but I appreciate you. Let me know where you guys think we go from here, whether you think we hold this trend line or whether we end up falling below. Appreciate you. Have a great day and I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.